Abraxar was advised all metal crowns for endodontically treated molars. However, he insists on getting full ceramic restoration, considering that the patient has heavy occlusal load, which of the following materials is best suited for him. Okay, so here in the history, we have a Abraxar, that means clenching. So you cannot give weak materials, right? Now what are weak materials? Weak materials are the ones that have poor fracture toughness or they fracture easily or very brittle materials. These two type of materials you cannot give. So in these patients, the gold standard is to give noble metal crowns. PFM has to be given with caution because porcelain will chip off due to its brittle nature. Now here we have to determine the full ceramic restoration which is suitable for the given patient. The options are yttria stabilized zirconia, lucite based glass ceramic, lithium disilicate and any of the above. Now coming to classification of ceramics, we have zirconia which is polycrystalline and then we have glass ceramics. So lucite based, lithia based and then there is alumina based. Alumina is in between the physical properties of glass ceramics and zirconia ceramics. Lucite and lithia are too brittle in nature. Therefore, they cannot be used for high occlusal load because they will fracture. Okay. Coming to zirconia, zirconia also has uh, stability issues, but when it is stable at room temperature in a metastable state, you will use yttrium for phase transformation, which is known as transformation toughening. You don't have to do it as a clinician, it is already done by the manufacturer. So in between the zirconia crystals, these yttrium molecules are indispersed so that there is no crack propagation. Yttria is going to make it more rigid. So of the given options, lucia, uh, lucite and lithium disilicate are very brittle. Therefore, they are not the correct choice of material in that kind of a patient because the ceramic will chip off and break. Any of the above again is eliminated. That leaves us with yttria stabilized zirconia. Now, this is a small table over here that highlights the mechanical properties of the three materials given in the options. Looking at the flexural strength, highest for zirconia, 900 megapascals. Fracture toughness, again highest for zirconia. In comparison to these, it is almost uh, 3 to 4 times greater. Hardness of zirconia is greater than the other two materials. Coefficient of thermal expansion, not a very important property in terms of fracture resistance. However, it's better for lucite based glass ceramics. Modulus of elasticity, again highest of zirconia. It can withstand uh, more stresses without permanent deformation. So as we can see, the desirable properties of zirconia, yttrium stabilized zirconia, are making it most acceptable for a bruxer who wants full ceramic restorations.